Hello and welcome back to Rez Gaming. My name is Hollow, and today we're talking about shinies. Arceus, as you may know, has some of the most forgiving shiny hunting we've ever seen, thanks to two main mechanics. The overworld gameplay known as the wild, and a mechanic called outbreaks. In this video, I'm going to do more than tell you, hey, farm outbreaks, but give you the actual numbers, the various ways you can increase your shiny odds, along with tips during the farming itself. But to cut to the chase, through this method I'm about to explain, you are able to farm a specific Pokemon for a shiny version at a a ridiculously consistent and effective rate. It's fair to say that if you are running this method effectively, you should be getting your shiny within an hour, and I have some tips on how to prevent an issue I've seen in other guides as well. Let's get started. First, the numbers. Thank you to Sabuna Switch on Twitter. We have this incredible spreadsheet explaining the exact numbers for shiny rolls and how to increase your odds. These are the chances you have upon seeing a Pokemon in the wild, as well as what happens when you fulfill the requirements to increase your odds. Let's start with the base rate. If you are playing the game normally, from the very beginning of the game, when a Pokemon loads into your game, it rolls its shiny chance. Your base rate with no modifications is one shiny roll. That roll is a 1 in 4096 chance to trigger a shiny, to spawn a shiny. That would be pretty lucky. Thankfully, we can increase those odds significantly. A key part of Arceus is, of course, the Pokedex research. When you take a look at a Pokemon, we can see what is required to increase the research level. At level 10, it's considered complete, which gives you an extra shiny roll on that Pokemon from then on. Important to know, then, is that your rolls stack. So now we have two rolls every time. That's two out of 4,096 aka a 1 in 2048 chance. That's double your odds, much better, but still quite rare. Next, we could perfect our research. That means each and every category here we have to fulfill to its max. Take the Stivia here. I need to catch 15, defeat 25, defeat 10 with electric moves, watch it use aerial ace 25 times, give it food 10 times, get two different forms, and evolve it three times total. That would be a perfect dex on that specific Pokemon. It's a fair amount of effort, but it results in two extra shiny rolls. So add a perfect dex on that Pokemon, you'd also have complete research, and you have your base roll. That's four rolls total at that point on that Pokemon. Four in 4096 is a one in 1024 chance. The numbers are getting much better, so it's viable to choose a Pokemon you want, perfect your dex research on that Pokemon, and then farm it. Lastly, you could also get the shiny charm, which gives you three extra rolls, with everything else, that would be 7 total. That, at that point, would be a 1 in 585 chance, which is even better. The problem is, the shiny charm requires a full Pokedex of every Pokemon at level 10, and other aspects like fully complete the game, it's much less likely you're going to have that. But who cares about the shiny charm or any of that? Any outbreak that you find has 25 extra shiny rolls on that Pokemon. All that I just explained to increase your odds is nothing compared to just going to an outbreak and farming that. That's how insane it is for farming shinies. It's ridiculously effective. It is obviously the best method. So with your base roll of one and an outbreak, you have 26 rolls for a shiny every time that Pokemon spawns. That's a one in 158 chance to have that Pokemon spawn as a shiny outrageously good odds. If you make sure that Pokemon has at least a level 10 research, which is easy to get, that's an extra roll. So that's a 1 in 152 now. Well worth it. All right, so from that information, you will no doubt agree with me. It is most effective to farm outbreaks of a Pokemon you've got at least a complete Pokedex on, then worrying about getting the shiny charm or a perfect dex or anything like that. But how do we farm an outbreak? Let me explain. Outbreaks are simply one Pokemon is spawning many times in one spot. When you leave the village and choose a zone to go to, you'll be looking at the map and you might see a Pokemon icon over one or even multiple zones. That is the Pokemon that's currently outbreaking there. Considering there's over 240 Pokemon in the game, there's quite a lot of Pokemon that could be. To start seeing outbreaks though, you need to have completed the tutorial, which ends when you reach one star rank is really easy. The more zones you unlock through the story, the more chances you have to actually see an outbreak, as well as more Pokemon types possible in those outbreaks. So, how do we get the Pokemon we want to actually outbreak for us? Begin in the village and turn off your autosave 
in the settings. When you're done farming and all that, turn it back on. Now head out and check the zone to see which outbreaks you have. If you've got a Pokemon you want to farm, great, go to that zone and then immediately save at the camp where you load in. If not, head out into the zone anyway and then return to the village right away. That'll refresh your possible outbreaks. And then you just repeat this process until you see the outbreak of the Pokemon you want to farm. Okay, let's assume you've got the Pokemon you want to farm as an outbreak now. You've got to that zone and you've saved at the camp once you've got there. At this point, I'm going to remind you, do not have autosave on, have it off, and then head to the outbreak and start cycling the Pokemon spawns there. You'll find something like four of that Pokemon just standing there, and each time you clear a Pokemon out, another of that type will spawn. It'll be roughly 10 of that Pokemon type that are going to spawn before the outbreak ends. And to clear these Pokemon, try to do it as effectively and efficiently, you know, as fast as possible. Some Pokemon simply run away when you go near them and then despawn, and those are the fastest outbreaks you can clear. If it's a Pokemon that will fight you, try to capture it instead of battling them, since I think that's going to be faster. But worst case, it's a Pokemon you have to fight and defeat, and that will be the case for many outbreak farms, I'm sure. Once you've cleared the outbreak, it'll end with a notification on screen to tell you so. Now, assuming you didn't get a shiny spawn, you'll need to reset. To reset, you exit the game, closing it, and then reopen it. And once you load back in, you'll be where you last saved, which, with autosave off, should be the camp that you saved at before then going to the outbreak. Now, if you were to just go straight to the outbreak from that point, you'd just get the same one you just did, which in this example didn't have a shiny, so don't do that. We need to reset the shiny odds of that outbreak by reloading it. Head to the village and then come back to the zone with the outbreak you're farming. Upon loading in at the camp again, save. Then head to the outbreak and farm it once again. This is the process of farming an outbreak. You load in, you save at the camp, you go clear the outbreak and reset the game. Reload the outbreak odds by leaving and returning to the zone and then repeat the whole thing until you get a shiny. You need to see 152 spawns before your odds of seeing a shiny are all but 100%. For me, it took about 11 minutes for me to get this shiny, which was about my fifth run of the outbreak. I would say that was pretty damn lucky. People are averaging around an hour of farming normally. All right, so now I need to explain what to do when the outbreak changes because it can. During this process, you might leave the zone to reset the shiny odds as normal. And then you find your outbreak has disappeared as you're about to go back. Maybe it's a different Pokemon in an outbreak there or there's no Pokemon there at all. Don't panic. There's an easy fix. Reset the game and reload the zone until you're target outbreak is back and generally that takes one to three resets for me to get it back which is not much at all once you do have your outbreak of your choice back head to the zone save at the camp and continue as normal all right here's a major aspect to shiny farming then how do i spot the shiny i swear i don't know what happened with pokemon games but shinies have become pretty difficult to spot they're very subtle it might just be a slightly different color or like a slightly different color of a marking that's super subtle. Fortunately, there's various ways to spot a shiny. The number one tell for me is the sound that plays when a shiny spawns. You're listening for this. I think that's a pretty clear tell, but there's also a visual which is all the stars that sort of blast out the Pokemon as well. If you do somehow miss this, don't worry, there's more ways to tell. If you focus on the Pokemon, you'll get the information at the bottom left. Down here, you see the Pokemon's gender, its research level, if it's an alpha or not, and of course, if it's a shiny, which looks like this. If you're in battle with the Pokemon, that shiny icon will also display it's above the health bar, just to the side of the gender icon. And I guess lastly, if you caught a shiny, but you're not sure, you can go check your Pokemon via, say, a guard at the camp or your pasture in town. The shiny icon will be at the top right of that Pokemon next to the gender icon. That's also where you would see if it was an alpha Pokemon. Now, while you're farming the Pokemon, I'd suggest having an image of the normal and shiny versions to compare just so you can stay sane. But honestly, I didn't worry about any of this. I just blindly cleared the Pokemon until I heard the shiny spawn sound and that worked for me. Once you do find your shiny though, try your best to capture it, but don't worry if you fail. If you fail, simply close and reopen the game. And this time, don't turn back to the village, just go straight to the outbreak again because that outbreak has a shiny in it. You'll be able to try to catch it all over again as many times as you want by reloading your save. Ultimately though, I was able to try to recapture this shiny three times before I got it because I swear these were little slippery guys. But I could keep trying forever because I saved at that camp 
before coming here. But that is it. This is the most effective way to farm shinies and how to increase your odds even further if you want to. Understanding how this works, how to spot a shiny, how to farm them effectively, and even how to prevent your outbreak from changing, this is going to get you your shiny much faster. Please be sure to drop a like on the video if this has helped you so we can make more useful and detailed videos like this in the future. That is it for now though. Good luck with your shiny hunting and until next time, I've been Hollow, you've been you. Thanks for watching. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.